Welcome to Bruce's shop. I'm back. I'm working on a lawnmower. It's an old yard machines, 20 inch Tecumseh engine. Uh, at first I thought it had oil, it was vapor locked or liquid locked on the pit, on the cylinder, sorry. And then I uh, took the plug out and the engine wouldn't rotate. So I took a ball peen hammer and tapped the blade with the plug out, of course, and I got some rotation. Okay, I, I'm this blade has just been sticky and I don't know what it is. It does the fact that it could be a overheated motor or something. I'm still not 100% sure about that, but. Uh, I'm tapping that pretty hard. And there we go. That's a normal sound. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to just. Uh, Leave it at that and we'll just clean up a little bit and we'll go to the next step. Thanks. Now I'm just trying to get a little bit of fire. But I'm not sure what's happening here yet. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to try something. I'm going to yank my guts out, right? There's oil in the carburetor. Can you believe that? Oh, yes. And there's water on the plug. Oh, glory. Alright, I'm going to squirt a little bit of gas into the cylinder now. I should get exciting. I just want it to pop. Be a, a flywheel key, right? If it if it stops and jerks out of my hand, I will be very careful if um if it does. Okay. It still feels like it's a flywheel key. tilt it, get the oil out of the carburetor and get to see if the oil flows into the engine because there was some there was some liquid in the carburetor and it was looking like oil. I'm gonna give it another squirt. I just have a suspicion that the gentleman who owns this hit hit something the way he was describing how it quit. I got the door open. If it gets real bad, I'll uh, open the big doors. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, that feels like a flywheel key. I can't use that hand. Let's have a look at it. You just need a quarter inch ratchet. It was actually seized just a little bit, eh?
Yes, I can take that off with a three quarter inch air gun. With that uh, blade or the spark turned off. And now we are going to get an air goon. Air tool. And I think we can use this. Okay. Let's get that cup off of there. Yeah, he hit something. Because it's just a little bit off. Let me get you off of there. And this is all it takes on a Tecumseh, right? Tecumseh. Oh, we need light too. So now I'm going to get the tank off of here. It's on a rubber mount. Screwdriver and a ratch and a crescent wrench is all you need on these bad boys. Not quite, eh? Now I'm going to take these 5 16 nuts off of here. I'm going to pull the cover off and we're going to change that uh, flywheel key. And the other one's a 3 8. since I did one of these. I think I'm going to use a puller. It might put a little strain on the flywheel. But it does run, right? Okay, I'm just going to give it a little tug and then I'll put some heat on it. Might get lucky. Tuck. See if I get a shot here. Not quite, eh? Yeah. No, nope, I'm gonna loosen it. Nothing wrong with doing stuff twice, right? Okay, now. And this is acetone and transmission fluid. You have to mix it every time because it separates, but it works. I mix it 50 to 50, but gradually over a period of time you get more transmission fluid than you get acetone. And that's okay. Okay. Oh, pain dog. And thank you, Mr. Zippo Varga.
you now, Bruce. Don't touch anything. It's going to be a lot. Just like that. Scares me every time. Now we gotta find the. Oh, the key is still in there. Good. It's gonna have a nick on the side. Oh, yeah. I'm squirting with soap again. It's still hot. It's actually not damaged that bad. It was just sideways in the slot, eh? So this uh, puller is quite unique. It has three jaws, as you know, you saw that. But if you wanted to do one that you're in, like brake jobs or something different on a different shaped flywheel, this one goes straight across and you move one of these legs over to here and then take the other one off. And uh, you can use it, you can use it as a uh, 180 instead of three uh, three jaws, it goes to two on this end right there. That's pretty nice, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, one thing I did do, and it didn't wreck it. I got to put the uh, clamp back on the bar. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I did this. You guys are yelling, put the bar clamp on. There. I'm going to clean out the grooves in that slot there. Good. I got lucky, I didn't break the brake. I didn't break the brake. Okay. It's not that dirty for our 25 year old on Mori. Take it to what are we going to take it to? 30 foot pounds? <laughs> Fuzz. Excellent. This is called a Bellevue washer. It's uh, sloped this way or this way. Keeps the pressure on. And because my shoulder's out, I am going to use the uh, impact to tighten this up. Four bolts on the cover back on. Spacing. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. And it goes on like this. Like that. Just that happy little guy here. Bob would be angry with me using his voice, wouldn't he? Okay, tool. Oh, that guy's a tool, man. Man, hit. I don't 
think it killed it. tiny bit of fuel in there, rinse it out, and then uh, put some more fuel in. Well, it's not that bad, but we're going to do it anyway. because this is just cheap metal, right? I need a quarter inch ratchet or socket. Go slow, Bruce. What does the yellow light mean? Go slow, Jim. Oh, yeah. Very soft touch on that, eh? We're going to put some fresh gasoline, and this is my 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 go-to gas can. I leave this this solid, and then I stick a bolt in there with a rubber seal on the or O-ring on the bolt, and that stops evaporation because I use one of these in a week. without jerking my hand now. <clears throat> Look underneath. No, it's a girl. You ready? came out of there. So let's get her up in the air. You guys are still watching this? It ran good though, didn't it? So I don't really want to take this carburetor assembly apart because on a Tecumseh that can get interesting. I'll show you why. That, that uh, linkage right there okay so that that is the linkage right there the top one that comes off the governor arm comes across and goes to the throttle do you see that and then the other one with the spring starts below the uh, the other one comes underneath it and connects to that tab right there so we'll go backwards now the one with the spring goes on the tab comes under right there comes under Oops. There. Yeah, it comes underneath it to the governor arm, and then the top one is a solid piece, and it it goes to, over to the uh, second hole closest to the block. That's our action 
there. It's lovely, actually. That one works really quite well. And we're going to see what we got here. Should have enough room. I'm going to get a uh, ratchet wrench. Has somebody been in here? Just let the fuel go. See if it drips a little bit. Yes. Now if we can stop it with this. That should do it. had a look in here. Okay, let's just put this rag under here, and I think we got it. So I think what happened was he looked under here, and uh, he didn't get the bowl on with the bevel at the back. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm just going to suck the rest of the oil out of here. I'm going to do an oil change right now. Whoa! There's not much left. I did some earlier. Spilt a bit and i got to come back and get the rest. Tilt a roux on there. Oh, it's not much. We can put more on. This one really cuts grass high, eh? That's how he wants it. Okay. Pump the rest of that oil out of there and just get some in there. There we go. Ideal. Good. Success. I probably puked out a little bit because I had it tilted, right? Yep. All right. So I got the carburetor bowl on. I got the oil in the engine. I'll just give that a little bit of running over there. Yeah. 
a little bit of a tweak on the primer. Get that off. And see if she starts. Locks on. my friends we got the little 20 inch Tecumseh fixed it was two things it was uh, the flywheel key was just shifted a tiny bit and then the carburetor I think the bowl with the bevel that's supposed to support or be close to the hinge not the float was the 180 degrees out so yeah she's a go thanks a lot